Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Here I am, ladies and gentlemen, it is Alex Bennett, it is the Ramble, and it goes until midnight tonight, Eastern Daylight Time. I had to be reminded the other day, I didn't know whether it was still Daylight Savings Time or not, but I guess it ends, what, in the end of October or something like that. Yeah, right? Well, wait a minute, we turn back, it. spring what? forward. Fall, fall back, back spring, spring forward. forward. Well, we know that. Well, that, that, we go that, back. Yeah, yeah, but soon. Uh, but I thought it was already we had already done it. No, it'll get real it just, dark. It'll get real dark about four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, well, that's as it should be. That's what, as nature intended. <laughs> you know. Hi there. That's uh, that's my uh, that's my. Uh, uh, what what are you? You're you're my wife. You're one and only. You're my fourth wife. You're the in a, in a series. You're the fourth wife, yeah. In w one of the three that I speak to, <laughs> uh, I, I do. I speak to three of them. I speak to you, and I speak to Ronnie, of course. People hear me talk to Ronnie, and then occasionally I hear from Susan when she calls me, and it's very depressing. Anyway, but uh, so, but but uh, you know. Uh, you you made it. You you won the uh, the you won the sweepstakes. I won the jackpot. You won the jackpot. <laughs> the jackpot of Alex. Alex. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so how have I been mood wise? Have I been in a better mood lately? Yes, you have. I wish you were in a better mood when we went to Vermont. I mean, it was so embarrassing. Well, did you? I apologize. You apologize, but still the. It was out in the open. You can't take it What back. happened was, you, you didn't explain, though. You just sound like I was nasty. You, you were. No. Yes, I, you well, were. I was, but there was a reason for it. Well, I don't care. You were still nasty. I was coming down off of that evil drug they gave It me. doesn't matter. You were nasty. Well, I apologize. Yeah. And I, by the end of the trip, I was very nice. And you were Why? Did they comment to you? Uh, no, but it's, it was embarrassing. No. And we were all sitting in the car waiting for you to come off the toilet, and you wouldn't come off till you got your password. What? When we wanted to go to that light, that night the light, and you were sitting on the toilet what, asking for your password. I can't even remember that. See, no, I mean, that's, that's it. That's, that's how bad. That's how bad you were. No, that, you, you know, you're, you're, have you ever taken a drug that has altered your mood when you stopped taking it? No, but I took a drug that altered my mood when I was taking it. Yeah, no, Quaaludes were good for yeah, that. Yeah, no, I, here's the point, the point. I would say there was this thing called amitriptyline, and it was one of the drugs the doctor decided to foist upon me, and it just had terrible side effects. So I stopped taking it, and I thought, when, oh, you know. When I, we were going to Vermont. Well, don't blame, I had to stop taking it. I understand, but it happened to coincide well, with our maybe weekend I, maybe, in Vermont. Maybe we should have canceled Vermont then. Well, I would have gone up, but you could have stayed. It, oh, really? <laughs> no, but so I, I, the, 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 uh, I it, normally, um, uh, he gave me a very small dose of it, but it was enough that it just was well, not good. you have a very low reaction to, yeah. to but pills. But anyway, so then, I'm here the night, the night I, day I quit it, I'm here on the air, and it's the day before we go up to Vermont, and I almost passed out on the air. And then I started sweating profusely, and I was getting withdrawal symptoms, and I looked it up, and this drug does have withdrawal, withdrawal symptoms, symptoms, but I was only yeah. on it for like a week or two weeks. Yeah, but your, your yeah. body So reacts. I go up to Vermont with her, and for the first couple of, for the first day or so, I am just terrible to get along with nasty nasty uh because it made me edgy and i but when, once i realized what had happened i apologized to, yeah, to everybody but, and said i'm sorry but there was this drug and it's it i came down off of it and it's just horrible you know and then of course they come up with the statement that well we love mills no matter what <laughs> did they say that of course <laughs> No so, matter who she's with, well, we love her dearly. 
So I better not go back up there. No, there. no, no, no. I feel I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm welcome only there kidding. I'm, don't be ridiculous. They love you. Hmm. Yeah, well, I love them too. Just having a senior moment. No, I wasn't having a senior moment. I was having drug withdrawal, very real drug withdrawal. To a senior. Oh, boy. You you, you just don't have any sympathy for that. You know, you have to know what was going on. Now, this new drug, I think if I came down off of it, would not cause the same problem. Well, you've also been able to balance what out what works for you well he told me to take three and well obviously day. three didn't work and, well it it, it 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 worked but it didn't work i t- find that taking one it works but i'm still tired a lot so well, you know hopefully that will subside but it, it makes me puts me in a better mood that's for damn sure so you know but it it both of the it, one of these was the the pill that I was taking was like a, do you ever remember back in the beginning of like pills tranquilizers and things like that um, Elevil I never took it but I remember but you heard about it. yeah well that is what amitriptyline is and it's really an old line antidepressant and so it doesn't newer antidepressants deal with your mood better and are mm-hmm. not don't have the same withdrawal symptoms but this thing this was horrible it was i just kept saying to myself this is the most evil drug i've ever taken in my life you know but uh, this one I, i'm you know I'm, I'm learning to get along with but uh, uh it it puts me in a better mood so i'm i'm your sweetheart again but i'm never going back to vermont now because okay. they don't like me okay they do like you but it's okay if you don't want to go back why because I'm going, whether you come or not. Oh, it, well, it, oh, so you don't want me going? I didn't say that. You You're welcome, but well, if you decide I'm, you don't want to go, I'm, that's I'll fine. I'll go on my own vacation. The, the, you plan to do that anyway, so there. What do you mean I plan to do that? Well, we haven't taken a vacation in nine years. Well, then we will take. We are going to take a vacation. I'm determined to do yeah, that. Yeah, when? What lifetime? But I, you know, I have other things to deal with too. Well, that's your problem. What? <laughs> I mean, you know. Well, no. I mean, I have a uh, uh, an ex-wife who is ill, who I would like to go out and see before, you know, the inevitable happens. Uh, just to, you know, uh, you do what you have to do, Alex. Well, yes, I have to. There are things you have to do in life. Sometimes, right. So you just you know? do them. Uh, I, I, do I want to do it? There's part of me that goes. You know, it's funny. Right. It's funny. It's part of me that goes. No, I don't want to do it. And the okay. reason I don't want to do it is because it's a very painful kind of situation. You know, <clears throat> to deal with. Will you quit moving all the equipment you around? Quit telling me what to do. No, all the time. when it, when you you could like be turning something off when you do that. Why, why did you pick up? Now I want to find out why did you pick up uh, that key? You know, keyboard? I really don't want to argue. If you want to sit here and argue over bullshit stuff. Why do you, why well, do you just want to? stop it, Alex? Just stop. I'm it. asking a simple question. No, let's just move on. See, that's how you deal with any question that I ask. Oh, really? Let's let yeah. Let's let's <laughs> let's move on. Just I don't want to. I don't want to discuss move it. Move on. I don't want to discuss it. Move on. And, 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 and by the way, you can be ornery too. Yeah. Well, so. you put me in those ornery moods. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so. I, now I'm not loved by those people in Vermont anymore. They, did they really say that? Alex, stop that we it. Love Just mi- we stop love Mills it. They anyway? love me. They love me. I'm, I've, I've known them since we were 17. They say we love, did they say we love you no they matter who you're it, with? Who, no matter who I, well, they said that a couple of husbands ago too. But, so, I mean, uh, they love me. Uh, I'm part of their family. The, yeah, but did they say that this time? Just be quiet. Did they say that? No, they just love, they love me. That no matter what. Yeah. Do they like me? They, of course they like you. Because they feel they have to. They don't have to. They, they wouldn't do things well, with you. I'll just I do. You, you can go and see them. Sure. Right. Good. Okay. Anyway, so so what's new? Nothing. You didn't go to work today. Well, I'm taking Fridays off. I'm using up my my vacation days. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh-huh. you're taking Fridays off. Or every other Friday. I'm yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you, um, you should t- do that. Yeah, I lose yeah. it. How many, how many weeks a month, a uh, year do you get vacation? I, know, I get at least four weeks, maybe more. Oh, well, then you should, you know. You should, well, I am. Should it should uh, uh, flitter away a certain amount of them on, uh, well, on yeah. Fridays. You well, know. that's what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Now, what are we going to do? Oh, wait, oh, 
Did they have the? Did did, we we had the uh, lottery tonight. Yeah, numbers. Did it do it already? I, I, do? I don't. I'm know. sure they did. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Uh, did they do the lottery? One billion dollars, folks. One L lottery. billion dollars. I'll, just, I'll do lottery. Uh, no, mega millions. Okay, it's actually mega, mega billions. billions. Mega millions. Lottery. Okay. Oh, winning numbers, it says here. Okay, let's look. Okay. This is the 16th, right? No, that, that was the other day. Today's the 19th. Well, where are the newest ones? Maybe they haven't done it yet. Uh, winning numbers drawing announced tonight at what time? At uh, 11 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, so it's ten fifteen Eastern time. Yeah, so I'll be asleep. Before you go in there, you should bring me the, pit, bring the numbers. The, I'll and, bring you the numbers, and I can look at them here on the air and see if I'm, you know, if you and I are millions. And I see this note on the on the monitor. Bye. What? what? <laughs> this note from Alex. Bye. Oh, bye. I'm going shopping. <laughs> well, let's see here. If we got the, if we got oh. it comes out to five hundred and something like five hundred and fifty million dollars after, after taxes. After taxes, I, I could live with that. Oh, I think so. I think so. I think so. They say that's two two Taylor Swifts. <laughs> um, uh, and and so, what would you what would you do with it besides get rid of me? I'd set up a foundation. You would? Yeah, absolutely. For what? To give money away. Fuck that. I want to flitter it away. We have so little time left. Well, you flitter it away. And I'll flitter some of it I away. I say we buy a home in Europe. Yeah. We buy a home uh, uh, a a major apartment here in new york yeah you know i mean this is nice but we could afford something we could really. upscale we could probably be at the top of the pencil building we probably buy beyonce's I go apartment into that building yeah uh, uh because a apartment in there would be like at the top would be something like 30 million dollars or something like that but you know if you got 550 million dollars you still got you know over 500 million dollars left we could buy this apartment house mm. But why do we need to do that? You know, I I I think I'd buy a yacht. You don't even know how to sail. I but they will hire people to sail it for me. How boring. Have our own captain? Wouldn't that be nice? No, you'd be your own captain. What? I'm not gonna. If I've got a big boat like that, I'm gonna have my own captain. Okay. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sail it. You do that. Do you realize how many uh, how many things I would have to pass and everything to be able to do a ship like that? You know, I'm talking about a I'm talking about a good yacht. You know, uh, um, I'm just I'm just thinking. Whatever. But what would you buy? I don't know art. You'd buy art. A farm. A, a farm that would be nice. I could, I could go for farm. a farm. I could go for a farm. How big a farm? Big. Big. Many. Work, a working farm. I want one. I had a friend. They used to have land up in, uh, his name was Joey Skaggs, and he had a, uh, a farm upstate in New York. And I guess he bought it years and years earlier. And I said, so how big is this? He says, see those mountains over there? It extends to those mountains. Mm -hmm. And I decided then if I ever got myself a piece of property, I want it to be like, oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Ted Turner. His he can see his goes not only to the mountains but a couple of mountains over, mm -hmm. you know, something like a million. He owns acres. like a million acres or something. Yeah, that would be nice. That mm -hmm. that you, that you that you could afford, you know. Buy a lot of stuff like that. Have a good time. Have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I buy a new camcorder. <laughs> yeah, right. People, I see these people on TV and they they always say to them, "Well, so what are you? How are you going to?" You know, how are you going to spend the money uh, if you win it? And they go, well, I'm going to get a new apartment. <laughs> and I'm going, wait a minute, hold on a second. This is $550 million we're talking about. After the new apartment, after you move These into the, the new apartment. These are the people that squander it away. They say that one third of all people who've won the lotteries Go into bankruptcy. Well, first of all, these are your trailer park people. Yeah. And every cousin comes out of the woodwork and every neighbor comes out of the woodwork and they don't know how to wisely, you know, invest. Yeah. So they just spend and, you know, a million dollars doesn't go that far. Yeah. 
So uh, they, but they also you were saying relatives come out of the yeah out relatives of the come out of the woodwork, friends come out of the woodwork. Yeah, would I give any of my friends money? Yeah, I think I would. Everybody on the citizen panel, if I win the the what do you call it tonight? The uh, the uh, the lottery. The load. Uh, each of you of the regulars, there are about oh ten of them, or so. Uh, I will, I'll give you each a million dollars. Huh? <laughs> Is How that okay nice. with you? That's nice. That's okay with you? Out of your portion. Out of my portion. Also, part of my portion. What do you mean out of my portion? All our life here married, it's been your portion and my portion. Why? Because you don't really feel married to me, do you? Well, I can't afford a business manager. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean you can't? Of course you can. No, I can't. I mean, I pay them every year, and then the, the largest amount of the money, you know, we, we, our tax problems have a lot to do with your stuff. So let's file individually. Well, nah, then you would really get beaten up. I don't care. Nah, we better keep it this way. He, he's worked it out that this is the best way to do it. We just paid our, we finally paid our taxes for this year. No, he finally did our taxes. Mm-hmm. That's true. <laughs> That's true. So today, you know what I did? Tell me, Alex, I, what did you do? Th this was an exciting day for me, and I'd like to share it with you. Because it's not often that I can come on this program and tell you about something exciting that I did. Here we go. You know, it used to be that I every day I had something exciting to talk about. Somebody I hung out with, someplace I went, you know. But those days are over now. They're gone. I don't have any great stories to tell, but today I did something that this audience should know about. Uh-oh, here we go. I uh, um, descaled my coffee maker. And you went to Nike? Well, we went to Nike, but, uh, but descaling the, the, the coffee maker was very important. It takes quite a while. It doesn't take a quite a while. No, you just clean it peripherally. This is like the descaling. I descale it, Alex. I've had it way before you. Oh, well, look who's the no, expert I'm serious. on, on, I do on it the all coffee the, I do machine. it all the time. Well, anyway, I descaled the coffee maker today. Good. It took like an hour, you know takes 20 minutes well no you have to let it sit for 30 minutes after you do the first round of stuff and then you then you flush it out oh we're using different stuff oh well i was doing i had the complete kit well i have a kit too we're using different stuff the, the, well there are two different things they have for this sort of thing mm. but that that's a but that was one exciting thing in my day and then we went to nike where it cost almost more for me to get there by cab and home by cab <laughs> than it cost to get the nikes do you remember the old days when you were a kid and uh, what was it? The only thing they made, they made Converse and they made Keds. Keds and Keds. that was it. I can't think of any others, can you? And I had, I think boys had Keds, girls had Converse. No, girls had Keds, boys had Converse because the Converse came up tall for basketball. Well, so did the Keds. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Oh, well, I had girls' Keds. Yeah, and I remember they had a little round thing on the right, fit, right with where your That's Converse. Bone. No, that was Keds. And Converse. I never I never bought Converse. I always had nothing but Keds. Don't yell. And there I'm not yelling. There was a the uh, a Keds uh, were um, what what I always got were Keds. And it's in fact, I never referred to them as sneakers. Most of the kids I knew never referred to them as sneakers. They referred to them as did you get a new pair of Keds? Yeah, we called them kids or sneakers. But I never had any kids say to me, did you get a new pair of Converse's? But hmm, Com this is so boring, Alex. Well, I mean, I'm telling you, I, <laughs> I, you know, I'm looking for exciting stuff to talk about that we did today, but. You save all the good stuff for after I go to bed. But in those days when you bought kids, how much did they cost? 20 bucks. Oh, less than that. <laughs> Probably five bucks. No, more than that. They were really cheap. They were really cheap. And today you go down, you have to take out a loan to get a pair of uh, a pair of Nikes. Nikes. I got my I got Nikes for two reasons. Number one, they are a very good shoe. Okay, they do make great shoes. 
Uh, and uh, they had a trouble though finding the right size for me because every time I saw something I liked, they didn't have it. You should in have that asked size. them to measure your feet. They no. do have those measured. No, 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 no. It wasn't that. They didn't have those sizes in stock. And then I said to the guy, "Well, you should have those kids in Thailand start sewing faster." <laughs> you know. But anyway, um, um, the, the pair I bought was after taxes and everything, like 130 bucks. And I'm thinking to myself, "Gee." You know, no, you know, it was 130 bucks plus taxes. No, no, it was 120 plus oh, tax. Okay. Uh, and I, I look, I looked at the, you know, I started to think about it. When I was a kid, you always thought of there were things you thought of as being the cheap stuff, you know, that you, that you, that was functional. Like you bought Keds for the kid because he was going to go beat them up like crazy, and they didn't cost much. And when they got bad, you just bought them another pair of Keds, right? Mm. Same thing was true with with jeans. Used to buy Levi's. Levi's were you? They they weren't a social occasion pant. You know. No, we weren't allowed to wear them to school. Right, and now you buy a pair of of of, of, uh, of jeans, uh, and Levi's are going to cost you at least fifty, sixty bucks, maybe more. And the designer ones are a couple hundred. Oh, I used to buy Diesels for a hundred dollars, and I went in a couple of years ago to see if get a, if I could get a new pair of Diesels, because that's all I ever wore. I love Diesels. And uh, they had gone up to two hundred dollars, mm. and I'm going. They're just fucking jeans, you know. You go in, you get a suit, thirty dollars, you know. <laughs> but I mean, and people people now wear jeans to very social occasions you and know? to work and to work. So, you know, I mean, that's uh, you know. The, I wonder, does Trump wear jeans? No. Really? But God, we're losing people like crazy tonight. What's happening? I don't know. I'm getting, I'm getting sick of doing this. I think I should roll over. I think I no. I think I should stop doing this, because last night the numbers were very low during the show. Well, what would you do if you gave this up? Uh, uh, oh, maybe some other thing like short little things or something like that. I, I'd find something to do. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it just seems like nobody really cares about it anymore. Nobody wants to talk to old people. Well, no, it's too much of an investment for them too. You know. So. 27, I'm rolling over. You're not rolling over. It's not time yet. Move the golf club. Huh? Move the ball. The, the golf ball? I like my golf My golf ball is very good for my foot. That's my therapy. Well, I'm coming over. No, don't come over yet. <laughs> we do this every week. I push you, you come here. No, start setting I it up. I think I have to take a pee. But I'll let them call and start talking to yeah, each other before that's a good I idea. go and do that it's right next door. Very good idea. So anyway, um, so I love you. I love you too. Does that sound authentic? You know, but in fact, last night I said to her, I love you. And she says, what'd you say? It wasn't like, no, you don't. It was like, uh, do you really? I don't remember. So something like that. I yeah. don't remember. Yeah. And I had to say, yeah, no, I, I said it because I meant it. You know, I don't know what my life would be without you. The aggravation is something I love. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But okay. I, okay, now you can move over. Now you can move over. All right. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to get my camera you here. Move the golf ball. Oh, don't move don't it move it here. too much. No, no. I need to get to it I'll later. I'll move it over when I get up. Jesus, I need my golf ball. It's okay. Tell them what I use the golf ball for. No, you tell them. Yeah, I put for my planters uh, fasciitis or whatever. Huh? Wide fat feet. What? For your wide fat feet? No, not for my wide fat feet. I it I, it, it it's a matter of exercising them. And, Getting rid of my planters, fascist, fascist, fascism, or whatever. Anyway, what do you? I'm trying to well, get. Why over. don't you? Here's an idea. Why don't you move that a little bit? Yeah, so it doesn't come in. So you can. There. Yeah. Boy. Uh. <laughs> oh, boy. So this is this is what it's coming. So to. this is it. This is it. Huh? <laughs> mm, mm, <laughs> yes, this is it, folks. This is uh, what our our relationship is. What our, no, what our life has come to, you know. Uh, there are two things about uh, getting older. You have to face death, 
That's one thing you have to do. And you have to, to face your partner. And, and, and you have to settle for what you're going to settle for. And you have to, yeah, so this is it. Yeah. This is it. Well, like, you were married twice before. Yeah. Why did you marry those two guys? Well, with Alfred, I was 20. I mean, you know, that's what you did. Yeah. And David, I... How long did that last? Two years. Two years, yeah. okay. And? And then David was... was so I loved them. Uh huh. And how long did that last? Well, it lasted longer because we were married, even though we were in different states. What? Well, he moved to Florida. And you didn't move with him? No. So, so uh, how and how long were you married to him total? From eighty three to like ninety nine. From eighty three to ninety nine. That's a long time. Yeah, but we didn't live together from the last ten years. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you didn't live with each other the last ten years, so it was a lot shorter than yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I I I was married to Ronnie longer than I was with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, but um, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> um, let's. My marriage is how long did they last? Uh, my marriage to Susan eh, lasted a while. What's a while? Uh, uh, we got married in '77, and I think we uh, we called it quits in about. 85 maybe something like that I don't know I don't know why I ever got married anyway oh I didn't open up the lines that's why nobody's calling I sit here waiting for people to call and then I don't open the lines. so you know by the way we have a thing called the citizen panel and if you want to call uh, you call using Skype if you don't know how to do it you go over to uh, a little thing called uh, uh, gabnet.net flyers the were the other brand Pro-Keds came in out. Can I? I'm trying to tell them something. Go ahead. And you go over to gabnet.net, and there's a, on the right-hand side of the page a tutorial on how to, uh, how to call us and be part of the citizen panel. And, uh, uh, oh, I see Kevin is coming online, and uh, who knows who else will be here. We'll see what kind of a citizen panel we get tonight. Oh, here comes Brian. Brian is the first one in tonight. Uh, uh, and he's not he hello, in the car. Brian. Hi, Brian. And then Renee. Oh. Renee is the second one in tonight. Let me see here. There's Renee. Okay. Uh, that's not Renee, actually. That's a baby Trump uh, balloon, I think, they yeah. use at demonstrations. Hello, Renee. Hi. Hi. Took me a little while. Hi. How are you doing, Marjorie? Okay. Yeah. Hanging in there. Isn't it amazing yeah. how... I, I can count on one hand the number of times I've ever actually gotten to speak to you, Margie. Marjorie. Yeah. Well, hi. Uh, by the way, look at how clear... Uh, Usually I call in later. How, how clear oh, Renee's sure. picture is. Oh, you're right. I'm always asleep by the time you call in. Pay attention mm. to me. I'm saying look how clear well, Renee's picture is. Uh, I see. I see. Oh, yeah. and, That's and, one of the reasons I called in right away so that Marjorie could say goodnight. Oh, thank see, you. See, thank she, you. And no she problem. has... She has uh, uh, look at that pretty she, puppy back whole, there. Did you get a new camera or something for your computer, Renee? Well, I got a new computer about a month and a half yeah. ago, so see, that, that, that counts. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, but anyway, uh, uh, she's in Hawaii, folks, in case you don't realize it. In fact, it's... It's it, overcast. It, what? It's overcast. Really? It's yes. overcast in, in paradise today? Yes, it's overcast in paradise today. Yeah. At least on this island. So the thing is, is that I'm on the most southern island, and then the other islands probably, except for Kauai, probably yeah. have sunshine. Translation, if you're fair-skinned like I am, you can walk outside and not worry about getting burned. Look who, el <laughs> look who else joined us, ladies hey. and gentlemen. Mark Thorner. We hear from him occasionally. Hey, good-looking. Hey, you. Hey. hey. How right about the... Uh, the, wow, the, what did they do to the video? It works all of a sudden. What <laughs> video? What do you mean? Shame on Skype. <laughs> wow. Oh, and Marge, uh, for me it was PF Flyers. Still is. Ah. Yeah. I still have so. weird Converse. All I ever knew from was Keds. It's all yeah, I knew you, from. Well, you're you older. Get custom Converse, Marjorie. I know. You can get custom Nikes, too. Yeah, I saw that. Pick the color, pick the, the logo color. Yeah, the swish. Oh, you would, you, you would think that like Converse and PF Flyers and uh, uh, Keds, do they still make Keds? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. We'd like come out with like a slogan like, listen, we were here before all y'all. 
You know, I mean, fuck you. You know, uh, we, 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 kids played in us for years before they ever went to the expense of Nikes and, uh, uh, what else, what else do we have beside Nikes these days? Uh, well, Nike well, have, is the major uh, brand. Uh, so there are two, reasons, you have, there are two, there are two reasons why I bought Nikes. Number one is they're very comfortable and I like them a lot. And secondly, yeah, to piss Phil off. Callan Kaepernick. Hey, shoe, great ad. The, the yeah. shoe of kneelers. Yeah. Great yeah. ad. You betcha. Yeah, yep. you know. Plenty to kneel you, over. That's pretty exciting <laughs> that you More than just police your... brutality. There's plenty else to kneel over for. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Beginning with Kavanaugh yeah. and ending with Trump. Yeah. Give me the old kneel over. Yeah. What were you going to say, Phil? Well, you know, descaling the uh, coffee machine is pretty good. Uh, you know, maybe you can put some instructions up on GabNet on uh, how to do that. Well, I thought I, it's, it, it was an exciting process for me, and uh, I felt I did a very good job of it, and my coffee is tasting considerably better than it did before I descaled. Yeah. As my I, mom and I, and would and say, I, pin a rose on your nose. I, I recommend highly <laughs> that anyone who has a, uh, a, a Keurig coffee maker has a Keurig coffee maker oh, yeah. go out and do a descaling. It's, it's if, you, if you don't, they'll uh, they'll die on you. They so will if you don't after a while. Yeah. yeah, if you don't do do that. Yeah. yeah. So do water heaters if you don't drain them once a year. Mm. Well, I yeah, wouldn't but know. they keep me in business. Hell, I see because they get, they <laughs> flood a place. Okay, and, yeah, yes, Before, yes, Renee. Can we ask Mark how he's doing after the freaking storm wiped out uh, like fifty miles above him and up? You're in Tampa, right? No, I'm down. I'm way south there. Where are you? Oh, well, I thought you were closer to Panama City. Oh no, okay. he, no, he, no, he, no, oh no. I'm 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 out way outside of that danger zone. Where are the you? The last hurricane. Where are you? Uh, the last hurricane gave him uh, fits. Yeah. Right? Was it Wilma? Yeah. Or, uh, no. Which, which one was it uh, that uh, came through Naples? Uh, yeah, what, what, literally, Irma. Oh, you're in Irma. Naples. That's uh, where Charlie and, and uh, AG. I think we went through this already. Yeah, we may yeah. come down to Naples sometimes and visit them. Well, so I'm, he, wait a minute. I'm not invited to there. You're invited to Naples, of course. Are, are you even allowed in Florida? I no. It isn't a matter that I'm not allowed in Florida. I just don't want to get anywhere near the fucking place. Oh, I don't either. <laughs> Well, so Alex, you're going to be coming out west in the near future. Are you planning on doing a San Francisco kind of thing too? I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I haven't decided. Uh, uh, Bubbles wants me to do a uh, Alex Bennett comedy should. reunion show. I think you should show. do that. I think it would be great. And has, a, and has arranged for us to do it in, uh, what, what, something like three or four different venues. Do it. I think it would be great. Oh, wait, put it in a it's podcast. Too bad. Listen to it when I'm working. Next it's week. too bad that you didn't do the punchline thing this week with Bobby Slayton. It was a four-day extravaganza. I wasn't invited. I made well, those. I, I literally kept that those doors open for years, and I was never. Yeah. I wasn't even. They. It was an afterthought. Uh, now my friend David went to it, but uh, he wasn't doing anything there. You know, he wasn't running it or anything. Well, he he did it one time. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he used yeah. it. So, oh wait a minute. Uh, no, that's just from, I was just looking to see if maybe it was a headline like, well, you're going to go get my lottery ticket, our lottery ticket. I'm going to sleep. Or, no, but you're going to go get okay. our lottery right. ticket. So go bring it I'll back. I'll get the tonight. lottery ticket. So, good night, everyone. So that we Good night, Marjorie. Uh, it's good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks uh, for calling. Yeah. You know, I'm such a cheap screw when it came to this lottery on Wednesday. I said, well, I'll, I'll buy a ticket. Mm -hmm. So I bought two games. And, uh... And I told uh, the manager at my store, I said, look, if I win, uh, I'll split it with you. you know? Wow. And at that point, it was $900 million. <laughs> And so he went out today, and he bought 20 games. And he says, if I win, I'll split it with you. Well, <laughs> so, let, me, let me say this. If I win the lottery tonight, or yeah. if I win the big lottery, but even one of the minor ones that isn't, you know, well, no, I can't. I wouldn't be able to afford it with that. But... Uh, uh, if I win the big lottery, even if I have to share it with two or three other people, but I, I come out with several hundred million dollars, all right? Each one of the people on the citizens panel tonight will get one million dollars. How's that? 
Thank you. Better than Trump's deal. Huh? <laughs> and if, and if we win, wake me up. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I if we win, I'm not sure waking you. I'm not waking you up. I'm getting on the first plane out of town, dear. <laughs> But here it is. And, and if you don't go. win, do we all get one million GabNet bucks? Uh, yeah, you get one million GabNet bucks. But everybody okay. who calls the citizen panel tonight, take a check. This, <laughs> uh huh. Will will if I win the lottery, uh, I, I will give a million dollars to. Think about it. If I got five hundred and fifty well, million dollars and I gave house, you each no. a, each a million dollars, it wouldn't even be like a bite on a. All I would need would elephant's be elephant's ass. Well, Sixty thousand dollars, I would clear all my debts. I'd be eternally hey. grateful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, it's in know. the mail. <laughs> you know, you you you'll be a millionaire. Uh, 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 well, Brian. you know, if you win five hundred, uh, you only get like two fifty. No, 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 no. Cash no. out. No, it's a half to begin with. It's one billion dollars. That's up I know. Oh, you tonight. said if you if several people won. well, several people um, win. I would still have several many hundreds of hundred. millions of dollars, and I could still right. afford to give each of you a million dollars each. Now, do you think it would be a good deal if you take the lifetime payout? That well, that no, that no, no, jeez, no. <laughs> why are Probably you doing that? No, well, he's seventy-eight. You know, he could uh, that's, time. that's not gonna. That's not. That's not a good bet on my part. <laughs> That's yeah. what I thought. But on that well, lifetime payout, don't you get to have someone inherit it? I don't know. sound ignorant, but it'd be better sure. if someone like myself did the lifetime payout versus if someone yes. like Alex did. Again, not to be ignorant or anything. I'm just stating facts. If you were yeah, really I young, I could see a reason maybe to do it. But you know, in in most cases, I think the taking the, you know, taking the the what do you call it, the after tax like payout. Because remember, that's after taxes. You don't owe taxes on that five hundred and fifty million that you get to keep. All right, so um, uh, that's not bad, and and uh, um, I'm I'm willing to pay those taxes on it up front and be More able to go out. For Trump. Huh? <laughs> More than can be said for Trump. He's not willing to pay a damn dime worth of taxes. You know what I could do? I could take a million dollars of that and buy lots of advertising and and people. Uh, to back me up on this whole process and make Gabnet a major hit because I could publicize it. Uh, you know, if I, I don't know about you, Alex, but if I pipe dream for too long, yeah. I start to get very depressed. So if we could change the subject, please. Y yes, right. There was, there was a guy that owned a Carpet One in Michigan, and he won a, a major lottery. It was uh, over a million dollars. And uh, the president of Carpet One uh, nationally uh, said to him, uh, you know, what are you going to do? This is several years ago. He says, uh, you know, uh, what are you going to do with the money? He says, I'm just going to keep dumping it into the business until it's all gone. Ew. <laughs> you know, which is what, you know, most people yeah. in the flooring business do. Well, I don't see how people can win the lottery. It says one third of all people who have won the lottery have gone bankrupt. bankrupt. Now, yeah. why? How do you go bankrupt? I mean, you paid off, you paid off the same thing with sports. Huh? He did like Same a thing. 60 Minutes or a, 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 yeah. a Dateline or something on that, and they just went through all these people with different stories about how they fucked it all up. Just spending yeah, how too do you much find, money. Let's say, let's say I... Even sports people do. If, yeah. I, if, yeah. if I won $550 million tonight after taxes... I don't know that I could blow that before I drop dead. I would have to be oh, spending money in it. Yes, yes you, you could. could. <laughs> you were making the equivalent of a million dollars a year when you were making four hundred grand in San Francisco, right? That today's equivalent, twenty years later, mm -hmm. that's a, that's close to a million bucks a year. Yeah, but I could see you how could, no, I could see how you how much how much you got left. No, but I don't. Please don't bring that up. Oh, All right. here's another. It, it just, by the way, the just, shit. Yeah. I've just been joined you by could, another could, winner of the million dollars. If I if I win the lottery tonight, <laughs> you are awfully dark tonight, Rob. Remember, Ross. we, we can barely see you, Rob. Now, you know. uh, but uh, 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 we've got Renee. Remember these Renee. names, folks: Renee Collins, Kevin, Phil Meyer, Jeff Stein, Brian Ludwig. Uh, 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 Martha Patrick. Thorner, uh, yeah. uh, Patrick Blazik, and Rob Alfano, all instant millionaires if I win the lottery tonight. Okay? Here's to, here's to it. Yeah, well, here's I wish you luck, my friend. 
Smoke what happens if it rolls over? If it rolls over, I'm buying. Yeah. I'm buying double the tickets I bought tonight. Will you yeah. buy me one too? Then you know I don't. No, I, really I, I, my my white. question is okay. No. I, I've got uh, what is it? Ten numbers here. Yeah, I got ten numbers here. Right. Uh, do I stand a better chance than if I just randomly picked one number? Uh, did you pick no. those numbers? No, I did. Uh, no, I didn't sit there saying to the guy, "Okay, I want seven. I want twenty-six. You know, I didn't do that. No. Person yeah. in front did, of me did. <laughs> did they really? <laughs> no. Nah, yeah, they fill out a form, and then uh, I don't know how they do it. Maybe they take the form that they tick off the numbers and they put it in a yeah. machine. And then yeah, I don't think there's such thing as a lucky number. I mean, you either win or you don't win. Now, you you have to get five numbers, plus then you have to get the bonus number, right? Right. Yeah. You have to get the last number. You know, so if you got ten me. things, you got ten numbers on the bonus. The bon is the mega number or something? Yeah. yeah. Five and one. You know what would really hit me right here? What? It would be if, uh, you know, I don't, I don't, I didn't play this. Mm. I don't have any of this. But if like it turns out like my neighbor or there's some shithead a block from me wins, <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I think I'd go I'd go ape shit I'd go apoplectic. <laughs> oh really? Now, I want to see when, a psycho motherfucker. Yeah. When did they pick the number? Well, isn't it tonight? Now who is this yeah. calling? I never and, even. I, uh, fifteen. It's Vernon. Six, four, it, oh, is, this, Vernon. Is, is this Vernon? Oh, it's Vernon. It says N four U L. I guess that's his call sign. Hello, Vernon. <laughs> No. Yeah. The welcome, yeah, welcome. Stands for none. Welcome to the Millionaires Club, because everybody tonight <laughs> on this yeah, panel, video. if I win, which we'll find out in about 13 minutes from right now, yeah, if I house. win the the, See, you're the, gonna get an instant full house tonight. <laughs> I made full house. Ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got a full house. We got a full house. These are all people glomming after my money. Uh, right. But uh, uh, if I win the lottery tonight, even if I'm one of like four people that wins the lottery, okay, well, everybody on this panel tonight, I guarantee, will win one million dollars each. Now okay? the deal is, you can take your iPhone. I guess there's a QR code or something that yeah. you can put up against the ticket to see if you won. Uh, no, way, no, really? no, there's no QR. There's no QR, there's no QR code. QR? On. No, we should do. There is a barcode. Oh, well, then you have to take it in or you have to look up the numbers. Yeah. yeah who's you can who's, go to who's the got his, uh, who's got his speaker? Why do I hear feedback? Somebody's so got his. That is my fault. Oh, okay. Uh, 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 there is a barcode at the bottom. I suppose if you have a barcode reader. You, need you can barcode take that into the store, and, the store and use it on the reader at the store. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I left my ticket at the store, so I, uh, I think there was a QR code in California. Uh, there, There's, um, or maybe, maybe there's no, just a walk, website. You, you walk in and you take the the ticket into the store and they got a reader there. They have a QR. You if you're they, a winner or not. They have a QR code at the bus stop, so that you when you use the QR code at the bus stop, it'll tell you whether you've won the bus or not. <laughs> uh, hey, Brian's got his hand up. Yes, Brian. I have a question and a follow up statement. Uh, assuming, of course, I get the answer to the qu that I want to the question I'm about to ask. Yeah. The question I'm about to ask is, um, when, if this does roll over, when is the next drawing? Is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday? I believe it's Tuesday. Okay, yeah. then. Yeah. If it's Tuesday, that's good, because I was just going to say, if it does roll over, I propose we make a pact. If nobody oh. wins this time, we all buy tickets, and we all follow Alex's arrangement. Each of us there you makes, go. Each of us gets at least a million dollars. No, there you I, go. I, I, He's I, with I, me on this. Yeah, That's just yeah, win a million dollars, you know, enough to get a win. Okay, the big anybody one. else here buy a ticket today? By the way, we. I, oh, I so oh, win. Kevin did, <laughs> and, and did you, you Patrick? Yep. How, how many did? You, how many numbers did you get? Uh, I got uh, ten numbers for the uh, Mega Million. I got ten numbers for. If, I don't know if Mega Buck is national, if it's just regional. But it's another one, and that one's up to four hundred million. So I've got nine hundred million and four hundred million, mm -hmm. and I'm riding on. And then it's a local one, and it, it's only two hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, we have the we have the Powerball, I think, in New York, and that's the other one that's yeah, worth that, a lot that, of money. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's worth yeah. about a half a Powerball million. Powerball and Mega, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and and you, Kevin, you how how many numbers did you buy? I have five of each. 
Okay, so I bought I bought ten for tonight. Yeah. So we're we're all suckers, huh? I who who else? Well, Mark, you said you bought you bought one, right? <laughs> Less than that, you have a better uh, chance of getting uh, struck uh, by lightning. Uh, Swinging a little bit here L twice. Let me talk to Mark here. <laughs> yeah, Mark, <twice>. Mark, <laughs> Mark. Uh, yes. did, you, did you say you bought a ticket today too? Ten also. All oh, ten also. Okay, it's so a twenty. What you do is you buy. A girlfriend always buys like five, and I go, you know, what I do hey, is Kevin, a $20 twice. bill, you hand it to the guy, and you get, you know. I, I went to the 7-Eleven, I got two and a muffin. <laughs> and you know I something, and he's probably, me. he got two, and he'll probably win. He got the win. better deal with the muffin, really. Yeah, yeah well. I know. <laughs> the, the, the money still goes to schools, doesn't it? No. It depends well, on your school. That's what they say. Yeah, it yeah. Well, schools are always saying they don't have any right. money. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Well, I don't know how much is left to go to the school. 18 cents. You know? Now, let me ask the people who didn't buy them today why they didn't. Uh, Jeff, why didn't you buy one? Uh, You're on muted, mute. Jeff. You're muted, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Oh, there you go. All right. I, I don't think these things are useful. Give us a buck, Jeff. Give yeah. us a buck. I know, but it's... but don't you understand? Yeah, he's going to be the only winner here. <laughs> he didn't do it. Yeah, he didn't give any money away. Well, right. Jeff, can I say? Can I say that I just got twenty dollars worth of airtime here, you know, and stuff to talk about. So, yes, that's true. You know, and, and and everybody here, we're on a, a tether's edge because they're all you're all going to be instant millionaires if I win. I know. I feel. I feel. It is like what it is. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, Paris, it doesn't. I win a million dollars for doing nothing. Now, if it, suddenly I won and and you got a million dollars, I gave you a million dollars. What would you do with the million? I know what I would do with it. What? I got four granddaughters. Yeah. Oh, good. College plans. Co oh, maybe I should give you two million then. Nah. Because by the time they go to college, you know, it's going to be really expensive. Yeah, my debts would disappear, and my nephews wouldn't have to worry about uh, wouldn't have to worry about school. Okay, that's very, and then the and then the bulk and majority of it would be very nice. I think it's wonderful, uh, Renee. If you got one a million dollars tonight because of me of my good fortune, what would you do with the million? I'd fly over there and spend a week with you, Alex. <laughs> Well, yeah, I would do that. I'd fly uh, over and thank you personally. All of, all of a sudden, I hope I don't win. Uh, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to I think Alex's Airbnb. Yeah, there Alex's go. Airbnb. Right. Yeah, he's got eleven rooms that'll hold at least the citizen, full citizens panel. Yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, he'll have a, he'll have a real full house. That's how about right. Vernon? 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 What would you do if if I won this money and you got a million and I gave you a million dollars? Uh, pay off my my two kids' student loans. Yeah. Boy, all these people are so forgiving. This is wonderful. Uh, and, and, well, Patrick, I, I should ask you. You have a ticket, though. What would you do if I say I won and you got the million dollars? What would you do with it? Um, I'd probably look at getting a house that was crypto accessible and uh, invest the rest. Ah, very good, very good. How about, and uh, and Brian? We already asked you. We asked Mark. Oh, well, hey, Rob. Yes, if I, I uh, would immediately retire, really? I would immediately turn in the company vehicle. I would load the I would load the company vehicle with all their equipment, and I would say, "Come pick it up." You know, I am and, bringing and, it to you. And what time is it? It's uh, it's ten fifty three Eastern time. Yeah, yeah and seven. the drawing is in seven minutes. Yeah. If you find out you won, yeah. I will call while we're live on Gap. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I like that a lot of you were just so all giving to other people. If I win, you know why that is? If I, I win, I'm going to blow it all on me and girlfriend. Don't have the money. What? Because most of us don't have that predatory, all or nothing, uh, f f fuck you, we don't care about you kind of instinct that a lot of these, uh, you know, your Jeff Bezos's and your Donald Trump's and your Bill Gates's uh, and your Tim Cook's have. Hey, I could buy a radio station. 
You could buy two of them with that. Almost. Sure. I could buy. I could. I could, buy I could probably buy the, the rate they've been going. Clear Channel and Cumulus. I do. Yeah. You know. Buy a or, blockbuster. Uh, video. I Heart Radio. What? <laughs> you could buy a floor covering store. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a blockbuster franchise. <laughs> no, no, we buy a big old <laughs> toilet. Renee, I'd buy a big old toilet. I could. I'd, I'd rather buy a big old gold toilet. I could flush the money down in if I oh, yeah. invest in yeah. that shit. <laughs> gold toilets for everyone. With your day. Well, we've got five. We've got five thousand Toto toilets. Oh no, there's that. Hey, you know what, Alex? You could you could talk Renee into hosting a GabNet live from Hawaii. Oh yeah. Uh yeah, you could try that. I'm gonna go. Um, (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Uh, Mark, Mark, what would you do with the money if I gave you a million bucks? Bank it right now. Huh? Bank it. I would just bank it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Alex, the question, let's say... Oh, I forgot. Have... You're all going to have to pay taxes on that, you realize. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, Alex, let's Holy say... Holy shit, I just need 60 grand of it. Well, now, my question... Wait, wait, I got a good question here. Uh, yes, Mark, say what you were going to say, and then I got an interesting this question. This manager is going to be so busy because what do you do with that lump sum, okay? It's not like you can put it in a bank. So he's going to be really busy setting up stuff for you. I would imagine. I would imagine. Yeah, true. Uh, but my 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 question he here is okay. Let me ask a question here though. I so I win okay. I win a billion dollars and then I take the I pay the taxes on it so that I can take the lump sum, which is after taxes. So that's four hundred. It's five hundred and fifty million dollars. Now I give each of you a million dollars since the taxes have already been paid on that money. Do you guys have to pay the taxes? Yes, absolutely. absolutely. That's bullshit. Yeah, that's welcome to America. Because, that's it's bullshit. Only if it's over right? fifteen thousand. The first yeah, fifteen thousand is a free gift. Gift tax. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that what is, that is, that is right. such bullshit though because so I've already minute, paid the wait taxes. Minute, Al- wait, wait a minute, Alex. Would it could it be that if you were going to gift everybody a million, that you wouldn't have to pay the tax on the millions right. that you gift yeah. out? Yeah, no, no because I've already. Tax. Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm using money that is after taxes. I've already paid the taxes on the it, billion, and what right. I've got left is five hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, five hundred fifty million. million. Okay. Well, you still pay a tax so on the na- social security you collect, right? Well, yeah, but uh, you've got double taxation no, without no, representation. No, but here's the point: if I then take that money and give each of you guys a million bucks, do you have to pay taxes on that? In spite yes, of the fact that the do. Uh, yes, yeah, but the taxes do. have already been paid on that money. It doesn't matter. I and you're is it, it's the inheritance tax. Let's right. say Thank they kill you. you after you inherit the money. Yeah. I mean, you get the money and then you will it. To us, yeah, and He's then uh, I guess up to five million, I think, is uh, is is yeah, non-taxed uh, through through that. But you'd have to die first, and uh, just put us in your will. But it's basically the same thing. It's the same thing that the little really white which rich people have been whining about for years. You're going to make the money. You're going to pay taxes on it. Those taxes are paid. When you do, when you put that money in a will or you give it to us and it's a gift and it's over fifteen thousand dollars and under I think it's five million I don't but know what all, it but, feels but, right. but, but we have to pay taxes on it. Do you get the concept? Unless it's five 15, million is inheritance. Unless it's fifteen thousand a year, you could spread it out over yeah, like eight the years. You get, and then it's yeah. all spread it out free. over a month, ten grand a month or whatever. It does, no, you can't. <laughs> no, it's, uh, no, it's per year. Per year. year. But do you get it's the concept of what I'm saying here? The, I, the oh, taxes, the, year. the, year. the okay, taxes have already been paid on that money. It yeah. doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're whining the right. same. You're whining the same. Suddenly line. feeling like I want to become a conservative now. Yeah. yeah. See, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is Trump doing anyway? He should be fixing that. Oh, gee. Right. I just, right. I just, I just, I just noticed our number of listeners has gone down. Too bad, because I was planning on giving one of those people a million dollars, too. <laughs> That's That's tough shit for them. You to call in and make it a royal flush. Yeah. That was me. Caller. That was me signing off when I signed on to Skype, Alex. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, we're, we're, have to get we're, faster we're on that. back down to it. And it keeps going lower again. I don't know. I give up. Hey, yeah. Uh, you didn't ask what I would do with the money. Oh, hey Alex, Al- we're yeah, matching yeah. tonight, Alex. What? Dark and dark. I don't know if you. Can oh, you got see. your jammies on? Yeah, I got the same. The, the, the these, these. 
I got yeah. I got new ones. They're green. I got the same exact color <laughs> that you have on. Uh, you mean these? Does everybody yeah. have their flannel bottoms? The red on black checkers. These are the black these clothes. are the official wintertime Gabnet clothes. Yeah, all day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, we're going, oh, we're, going on, we're, go, we're going on. Wait a minute. We're going on 11 o'clock. I showed up dressed. And I have, I've been in these clothes since I woke up this morning because <laughs> I, I worked from home and I didn't have to go out today. We're, we're going on 11 o'clock, and uh, it looks like, I guess, right now it's Where's 11 o'clock on the east coast of the United States. Just hit it. So I imagine they're like <laughs> sucking the balls out of that machine or whatever right now. And I, I'm just going to keep uh, sucking the balls, sucking the balls the out of the machine. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that too, Rob. <laughs> Faster than an intern at a. <laughs> well, I said it on purpose, okay? okay. In the in the name of comedy, what happened to these people? I, had a, I think they actually of... blow the balls out of the machine. Actually, they okay. So it's time for them to <laughs> blow. Well, the Brian balls would out know. Of Let's see here. I don't know. How do we find out? This is they still got the ones for October the sixteenth up there. I said clear cash. Oh wait a minute. Notice, uh, due to high Mega Millions jackpot, we anticipate increased website traffic and should not slow I'll response bet. times. We apologize for any inconvenience. Who said yeah, that? There you go. Who said that? Uh, uh, the CalLottery dot com. Yeah, the lottery. Uh, but I, I was able to get through. But yeah. it first gave me a, a, a an apology. Sounds like Obama. Uh, so we'll see. Hey, so I, you know, the Republican in the group, I, I, if I got the million dollars, mm -hmm. I'd hire a personal trainer uh, that I could have all day that would also watch what I eat uh, until I lose enough weight and get into doing it on my own. Mm -hmm. Then I'd get uh, my own tailor. And I would have, as soon as I lost the weight, I would have all my clothes tailor-made. Mm -hmm. Then I'd buy a Bentley. And uh, then I'd play the stock market with the rest of it. Just like a Republican. So <laughs> selfish. <laughs> yeah. Me, so me, I, me. I, I'm moving some money out of the United States stock market and over to Canada. I don't blame you. I just, I can't. Are you buying a uh, uh, legalized pot? Oh, so there was, did you all see this photo? Because Canada just legalized uh, marijuana. And one of the parties, they had a six foot bud drop. So <laughs> instead of a ball drop, the thing was six feet tall of just marijuana buds dropped from the ceiling at, at midnight when the. Wow. <laughs> wow. It was wow. like an amazing bud drop. You know, oh, you know, Renee, Phil does have a interesting ask an interesting question there. If you uh, see any investment opportunities in the pot industry in uh, Canada, Canada, would you uh, move a bulk of your money into that? Uh, you know, so you have it's the same question here as it is there at this particular point in time, because both industries and excuse the pun are budding. And you need to find out what Jeff Sessions is going to do and which states have the best laws. That's all right. Jeff Sessions is going to be gone in, in six weeks. And this, it's not what, Jeff what? Sessions. I keep saying this. It's not Jeff Sessions. It's him. Jeff Jefferson Beauregard Sessions. So there you go. Beauregard. Okay, uh, Beauregard. What is the name of that donut shop in Canada that sells the... Hard. Uh, that sells the donuts. It's a very famous uh, athlete or something that opened up all these donut oh, shops. What's his name? Uh, you uh, don't uh, mean Horton. Uh, 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 Tim, Tim Horton. Tim Horton. Tim Horton. Do you so, know? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I Tim have. Horton. I have a thing. I have yeah. the Apple. Um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 Apple TV. Thing? And they have these screen savers. They're beautiful yeah. from all over yeah, the world. And there's one of Dubai, and it's going along their marina or whatever. And there is a building there, and it's a Tim Hortons. It well, is a Tim Hortons. Hortons. Yes. How, yes. It can you, is. Can yes. you imagine how profitable that would be if Tim Hortons sold donuts and pot? Think about you know, that. Out of, he the same, well, out of the same storefront. He made Great idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, so far, there's no results here on the Mega Millions uh, site. Uh, I'm looking Probably at this thing, and the estimated cash payout is $565,600,000. Uh, $565, we need Yolanda Vega. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was well, the one that did it here in New York, right? 
Yeah, from New York. That every night yeah. she calls the numbers. This is Yolanda Vega. <laughs> okay, come on. Where's the numbers? They don't. I, I still got the ones from ten sixteen two thousand eighteen. So. Yeah, they haven't put them up yet. They haven't put them up yet. Oh, they, got, they have to have drawn them. I should, probably should have gone to a TV <laughs> station and just broadcast it here because not any copyrighted I'm material. Gonna, I'm going to put my yeah. TV uh, on and see. Yeah. Two, three, four. Do you know three nights in a row the NBC <laughs> Evening News did a story on the Mega Millions? Like there's no other why. news that's important? What? Why? It's no, important to a lot of people. Yeah. They, they usually say when there's a winner, they usually say what town the ticket was bought in. So that, yeah, that'll help takes, determine. That it takes do. a while for that to happen. Now, didn't, really? they, didn't the person who sold you the ticket used to get a payout? They get some money? They do. They, do. Yeah. they, they, get, they, get, they, store does. they get a maximum yeah. of a million or something. No, they get a lot. I think they get more than that. No, no, no. I think they get 2%. Each state is different. I think it has, different. I think it's actually changed. that. It, each state is different. Well, yeah, but I think there's a maximum they get. Yeah, because there was some poor co somebody won this huge, huge, yeah. huge amount in like Georgia, mm -hmm. and the store got like five yeah. grand. Yeah. And then, yeah. and if, if the store was anywhere else in the country, they would have been like three hundred thousand dollars. Didn't something. somebody win a big lottery, and they were either an illegal alien or under eighteen, and they couldn't oh, yeah, get the he money? Went home. No, no, they actually ended up to ended up giving to him, but I think they deported him anyway. Oh, okay. Well, he doesn't so he, care at that point. Yeah, you were. He's even richer over there. Yeah, yeah. probably got twice as rich. Yeah. Well, let me let me see here. He's I'm, like deported to Honduras or something. He's even wealthier. Well, there no winning numbers coming through here. So, uh, at least the ones that we have. <laughs> yeah, no uh, shit. They're see. delaying it while all of the lottery. Uh, uh, staff check their own numbers. Yeah. <laughs> or they're doing it just for ratings. It was just sent to my phone. Oh, oh yeah? Let me see. The Mega Millions. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then you have them. So read it off. You can read the numbers. You have them off. All right. I got six, five, five, three, two, three, one, five, seven, zero. You lost me in the first. What was the first number? What's the mega? What was the first number again? Zero. What was the first number again? Sixty-five. Oh, okay. No. Fifty-three. No. Twenty-three. Fifteen. Seventy. I won. <laughs> yeah. Do you know something? I don't have any of those numbers on my <laughs> on mine. Neither do I. Uh, we're all what scared. And what's what's the uh, what's the bonus number? Uh, it doesn't say on, on what they sent me. It's it just the five numbers. Yeah. So that's, Oh, that can't be the Mega Millions. I think there's more than five numbers. No, that, if the Mega Million jackpot numbers are in, check to see if you won, and then it gives me the five numbers. But there are five it, numbers, but then yeah, there's, there's the... there be one more. Then there's right. the, oh, it, that's why when I was reading them, I realized there are only five numbers here. So maybe there'll be another tech that comes through with the final number. Please note, one of the children in the group actually got those numbers before the people sitting in front of the machine. So thank you, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> now, what my thing is saying is that the draw entry is closed and results coming soon. Okay. They're trying to control it, I guess. Oh, uh, the Mega Ball. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. So this is for, let me just confirm, for the Mega Millions, right, Mega Ball is 07. I don't even have that. I, yeah. None of the numbers you mentioned do I even have out of these. Don't throw it away. Yeah. All right. We hate you. We're going to go. Bye. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Looks like I'm going to work on Monday. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's a lot of people. Oh, I'm looking at a list of, of oh, this yeah, is I'm all game programs. They'll fuck themselves and they call me. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. My wife is screaming. Hang on. <laughs> oh, go, go. <laughs> wow. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be very cool. <laughs> well, um, the chance is one in... Uh, it's crazy. 300,000, so 300 million, I think. One in 300 yeah, I think, 
What well, didn't they decide you have a better chance of getting hit by lightning or something? Oh yeah, yeah you got a better twice. chance of being president twice or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> we got a better but, chance of of, of they're getting struck Trump by lightning broken. while naked doing cartwheels. I wonder what the well, odds were on so Trump that's... becoming president. You know. Yeah, but I mean, early on, before the the, the anybody nominated anybody or whatever, it would, you know, would love to know what those odds were. Uh, they certainly weren't terrific, I'm sure. Uh, let me see here. So anyway, well, fuck it. We don't know. Somebody might not. There might not be a winner. It might roll over. Well, you so. know, it would be a lot of fun if they did roll over. I mean, oh, and, if it and rolls it, over, how big does see it get? See you Tuesday night, right, Alex? Well, if it yeah. got one billion. It'd be really hard to believe with all the people who played it that it would roll over. Well, yeah. here, here's the thing, though. They have done something, they said, to the lottery to make it uh, yeah. do this. They put that, more numbers in it is the, what they did. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, they went, they've went. they gone longer. This, this streak, by the way, started back in July to build it I mean, up to this that, point. There's, a, so there's, seven, there's a number interest 70 in that. there. That's a lot of numbers. Yeah. They're collecting interest on all that money. So yeah, what's what interest? One and a half percent the bank gives you? What, you, can is bet it, you? It, it's still one and a half percent, even it's, though the... It's pretty yeah. low. It's, they, it's, pretty, it's amazingly disgusting. It's what they can't even get back to charge. five and a quarter percent. Mm -mm. No. Remember the days that you put your money in and you get five and a quarter percent? Oh, that's on why... That's why Not yeah, even but you're also paying 10% for your home mortgage. Not and, back in uh, those days, you weren't. No, that, that was when you were getting 13%, 11%. CDs were 17%. I used to work in a bank. Well, I had yeah. about five years ago, I had about uh, oh, $45,000 in my savings. In my savings. Now I have stuff in Vanguard and, you know, uh, serious stock and so on. But, but in, just in the savings account. And uh, what I had done is I got an int high uh, high interest bearing account, right? On forty five thousand dollars one month. Guess what my interest was? Forty five cents. I mean, no, it was a buck. Bucks. It was a buck fifty. A buck fifty. <laughs> and, and I'm going. Well, what? Wait a minute. I, no, then I, I don't. And then he said, "You got to keep five thousand in there for you uh, to be able to get, get the, you know, to get this this deal and, and not get charged and not get charged." Yeah. And I said, "How much?" I was okay. I'll, I don't think I'm going down pat below five thousand anyway, but I don't care. Take me out of this. This is a sham. So my interest went down to eighty cents on forty-five thousand dollars, and I went. Terrible. What, what about the days where I used to, when I was a little kid, you get down with your passbook, right? And yep. you give them yep. some money, and they would stamp the book, and it, every now and then you get like five and a half percent interest. Oh, yeah. this taught me about find, saving. What? You find anything with five and a half, you, you jump at it, you know? Oh, uh, like, yeah, you jump at it. I that agree. was commonplace. Yeah. I mean, it's just... Then it, you, and then you had CDs that paid more, and you had to keep the money in for X amount of time. Yeah. yeah. In, yeah. in 1980, I got a uh, 401k that was paying 18%. Uh, the you know, Continental Savings and Loan. I well, wait a minute. The, it wasn't the, paying 18% because a 401k 401 is based upon the stocks that are in it and whether how much they go up or go down. No, this was a bank. I mean, per, uh, percentage-wise, I've, do, I've done, I did much better up until just the last couple no, of this weeks. No, was, this was interest, uh, not, uh, not a uh, stock thing. Here's, a, here's another question I have. i got to ask my business manager this, but he's in Bali right now spending my money. Uh, and, Good for him. And he, um, uh, I wanted to ask him this. Uh, I ha I have to every year pay taxes on the m amount of money that my money in, say, Vanguard has gone up. Um, mm -hmm. I can't remember what they call it. For profit. Yeah. Interest. Uh, <laughs> you, you made a dividend. I made, it made a dividend. I have to pay uh, uh, interest. On, I, I have to pay taxes on the dividend. Yeah. All right. Right now, even though you don't have a salary, that, that's yeah, right. Because it's income. It's income. It does, it, it, I thought maybe when you get to a point where you don't really have a salary, yeah. there really isn't anything no. to pay. No, no, no. That's, this is this is money. This is money I've earned. Oddly enough, this is the dividend, right? So my question is: Suppose next year the, the stock market crashes and goes the other direction. Do they send me money back? Oh, you're oh, fucked. No. 
And, <laughs> Why would uh, you but think that? You, I you don't, don't know. I'm just a, security. I'm, huh? You don't pay Social Security on dividends. No. 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 Yeah. No. Uh, but uh, profit. So any kind of profit, you got to pay taxes on. Yeah, but right. then, Tax. the, but then, Tax let's say I go into the true. negative because now the, all of a sudden I'm losing money. Do, uh, do, do, do I get do I get to take that off my taxes? I don't think so. Uh, yes, you I, you can do a carry forward loss. That's what Trump did. You know, uh -huh. uh, it's called a carry forward. Well, if loss. Trump did it, I don't want to have anything to do with it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's how he didn't pay taxes and uh, on that nine hundred million or whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, by the way, think, uh, Jerry, if your dad went to jail, wouldn't you not want to? What is Jared Kushner trying to do other than to repeat what his dad did? He's a legacy. Oh, God, that's <laughs> not good. Well, you know, his a brother it, 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 his brother yeah. just got married. And uh, he, he, he's a, a Democrat. And mm -hmm. uh, so is the woman he married. And uh, they all, had, they all got, got together for the wedding. And everybody says they would have loved to have been there, you know. To see what, and they, they supposedly they just don't talk politics with each other. You know, they just enjoy. Did you hear the, Mike? Did you hear Michael Cohen is registered as a Democrat? Yes, he has. <laughs> and by the way, I saw him. I saw can him. He? I saw him well, on television. Can. I saw him. Can he vote? I thought he's a felon. He's not a felon yet. Not yeah. a felon yet. Not until uh, fe was it February or? Yeah, no, not, until he's, not, not until he's not until he But it's interesting right. because I saw him. We I saw him on TV today because they were like asking him some questions as he was going in and out of some place. He looked healthy. He looked happy. He looked almost like the weight of the world was off his shoulders. You know how he always kind of looked. DNC is pretty good to him, huh? The DNC is pretty good to him. DNC has nothing to do with this, Phil. Uh, you know that's why he became a Democrat. Yeah, well, he became a Democrat, no, I think, he because... he became a Democrat because he grew a conscience. Yeah, yeah he got caught. Piss Trump off. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Prince, it, 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 uh, it, 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 your, your boy's going to wind up going to jail eventually. So. Hey, I hope everybody so. goes to jail eventually. No, no they really? don't. I don't, no. you don't. I don't. Nobody I don't here does. It. Give it time. I I've protested I many a protest in my ass. I, been in I watched Oz, man. I have no plans. Of going yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Oh, shit. Uh, listen, I, I watch uh, every time I see that uh, farmer's uh, insurance yes, commercial. Yes. And, yes. and, and, and uh, you know, the guy from Oz. Yeah. You know, J.K. Simmons. Boinking yeah. Guys. yeah. He won an Academy Award a couple of yeah, years ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, but yeah. in Oz, he was one scary dude. Oh, oh yeah. he was, man. <laughs> He's one of the Aryan dudes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, um, um, you know he won an Academy Award for. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah, he won yeah. an Academy Award for. Yeah, yeah. for Whiplash. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But, but, Whenever you, you say Oz, I, I'm always thinking about Emmett. Emmett Oz. Oh, oh Emmett Oz. Yeah, Doctor Oz. Or oh, Doctor Oz. Uh, yeah. 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 But very anyway, different Oz. I, I want to mention that that today we had the best. <clears throat> uh, the dog ate my homework excuse that I've heard this year. Oh, boy. Uh, the Saudi Arabian government has come out with the excuse that it was a fist fight that went bad. Yeah, I saw that. So, we so, so you, take, you take a bone saw to your fist fights, don't you? I always take a bone saw to my fist fights. <laughs> no, one, no one gets to... No one gets to... You just can't... Who gets to say they took a bone saw to a fist fight? And they, 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 they got rid of the head of security for the country. I think it was the head of security. And they arrested 18 people. For being Can you imagine what the Saudis are going to do to these guys? It'll be out in the main square, and the heads will be on the ground. Uh, and, and that's just so they can cover up for the for the for the crown prince. So in order to you know to cover for him, they're gonna they'll have those eighteen people. They're gonna swing the machete. The heads will roll. Yeah, I'm watching, I bet you it's on national TV. I'm watching uh, News Four, and they flashed up that uh, Trump is considering some kind of sanction. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like not selling them billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars worth of weapons sanction? No. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. Nothing nearly like that. Uh, he's he's going to cut off a Carvel ice cream. 
They, That's they're, right. They're not going to be able to get ice cream. Okay, we'll get ice cream. Uh, oh, for three months. Kentucky Fried no Chicken. Ice. No, no fudgy the whale. No more KFC. Well, I say that we, we, we do away with our uh, our arms deal with them because he goes around saying it's a $100 million, billion dollar deal, and oh. it isn't. It's only a $13 billion dollar deal. Well, uh, there was uh, 125 in arms. No, and like no. It's a, hun- a total, a total in amount in the deal is only something like in, in the area of $17 billion. Oh, he made it sound so oh, much Oh, he made bigger. it sound Trump much more change. than it was. Get more than that in the lottery. Yeah, it's Trump change. That's not the, only, Trump thing. Change. That's not the only thing, Renee, yeah. that he makes seem bigger. What, what, he, <laughs> but I thought Stormy Daniels <clears throat> handled that well. Yeah. yeah, sure. But you go. Any thought? And, and, uh, we have compared to her chest. Everything looks yeah. small. We we hear so seldom uh, from. Uh, oh, wait, now the Republicans complain. We hear about so. Big se- uh, hold on. We hear so seldom. <laughs> well, no, just hold, hold on. on. Will you hold on, please? We hear so seldom from Mark. Any comments here, Mark? Uh, <laughs> it just writes itself, as David Letterman used to. It just it, it's just comedy. It's, yeah, yeah, it writes yeah. itself. Yeah, it just writes itself. I mean, it, it. I mean, I always knew that the Saudis were guilty of something, you know, and it just goes to prove it. it it's like now people are waking up to this. Yeah. Yeah. It's well, we all got a real dose of reality back in in when they bombed. Or excuse me, in nine eleven. But we didn't. We we chose right. We chose to st- put our heads back into the sand, yeah. and Bush helped with that, right? That's right. Now, my question is, um, uh, well, I brought something up today on my uh, Facebook page just recently, a couple hours ago. That we got all these uh, 4,000 people coming up from Honduras. They're on vacation. Uh, and they're coming up because they're, they're refugees from Honduras. Yeah. Did you Which, hear you it's know, a million percent inflation? Really? That a bad? Million, a million percent. Well, I, I, can't thought can't past, I thought you can't get past 100 uh, percent. They blew through that months ago. I didn't know that there was anything more. like a hundred, When people say 110 percent, I'm giving 110 percent. Well, you can only give 100 percent. Well, Venezuela has the similar kind of uh, uh, inflation. But I think know. inflation can go like three, four hundred percent. I mean, oh, you know, that's I mean, true, right? It's it, a different yeah, kind of thing. It's a different. It's a, it, you can only give a hundred percent of yourself, right? But yeah. you can have inflation go up. You know, yeah, many. Well, but anyway, um, <clears throat> these guys, people are coming up here, and I have suggested that we all get together, uh, people who of good conscience, and head. If they're if they're coming when they start coming close to the border, that we all go down there four thousand strong and stand between them and the troops. Yes, yeah, go Patrick. Ahead. <laughs> and get that insurance policy, will you? <laughs> yes, Patrick. What troops? Oh, the ones that Trump says he's going to send down to the border. He can't. He can't, he can't do it legally. So right. that's why when I saw your post, I didn't even comment because it it moved. Oh, He's okay. Well, line. then let me let me go right uh, over here guard. now and take That's it off. It. You I can't thought, use the National Guard for that. No, I thought National Guard you could. You couldn't send the five branches of government. I mean, the five branches of military. I, I thought National Guard could be deployed within our borders. But I don't think they can enforce the law uh, as the uh, Border Patrol can. So mm-hmm. I, I, even if the National Guard went down there, all they would be doing is sitting there twiddling their thumb. I don't think they can do anything. It would just be a deployment for nothing. So, what if these uh, four thousand people show up at the border? Why build build a Home Depot? <laughs> <laughs> why doesn't Mexico? Sometimes, Phil, you are funny. Yes. Uh, <laughs> why does Mexico take the? I mean. The, the thing that really blows my mind mm-hmm. is these people are coming up through Mexico. Why don't they take refuge in Mexico? It's another country. There's nothing there. There's Why no, isn't there's Honduras? No drugs, just as bad, awful crime, horrific. Uh, 
cartels, they, why they, stop? They, these are, these are Guatemalans, and they, and they went through and they went through Honduras and then Mexico before they get to the United States. Why, you know, uh, Trump said that uh, if Guatemala didn't stop them at the border, that he would stop sending money to Guatemala. Oh, well, they don't have money anyway. So well, one you and know, a half that, billion, they're not going to have. Well, here, here's the question I have is, I would say everybody on the panel except Phil and myself think that the entire United States is on fire. Why would these people come to the worst country in the whole goddamn world because Trump is running it? Uh, <clears throat> would Mexico be better because Trump isn't running it? I mean, what's well, the I, 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 I look. You, you make a lot of sense, Patrick, in asking that question because you know, really, what what do we have to offer at this point? Plus, when they get here, they're going. What what are they going to do? They're going to steam. Uh, storm the the fence you know or whatever no um uh i i don't know what they're trying to accomplish unless they're being given bad information down at the I, other end okay i saw i saw people trying to climb over the fence with women with uh, six month old babies a woman went over a 14 foot fence and broke her arm uh, there was there were talk there was talk of millions of dollars in medical bills for these people that are jumping over the wall Thank you. Uh, imagine, Jeff. Uh, just imagine the desperation that would make. Well, them that's do that. that's what that, that's what you have to take into account, and what you have to say is, are there not better ways of handling this? You know, uh, yes, Patrick. And I know I understand what Renee said about Mexico, but if I were de desperate, it's kind of like people in North Korea escaping to China. They, that's not the best option for them, but if it's the closest option to get out of North Korea and they understand that China is not going to welcome them and they still have to kind of live, you know, kind of in the shadow, if I were that desperate, that's what I would take that chance, and I would take the chance of staying in Mexico. Why would we I take the chance of going all the way through the whole fucking country of Mexico to get you to the United States. Okay, number one, it's not about money. They're trying to live. If they no. stayed in Mexico, they would probably <laughs> get slaughtered. It is about money. Don't oh believe the bullshit. God. They're saying we, that there's no we jobs. Have, we have due process. So when they get to o only, the United only for States, Democrats. they will get processed through the system. Yeah. So when at least at least they're going to get started on on becoming Americans if that's what they want to do. But telling them that, that they have to stop their kids and and they need to grow up in a place where they could just die because of all the cartels is going to be just as good as going to the United States. Yeah. You can't say that. How come the cartels exist? They exist because people let them exist. <laughs> OK, here we go. Anybody? You know, desperate, desperate people. I mean, desperate people, right? It, it, yeah, Phil. That's like saying, well, "How can the? How can the? Back, especially many years ago, like in the fifties, how can the mafia exist if the people don't want it to exist?" Well, I'm sorry, the true. mafia existed. You know, yeah, organized crime is going to is going, and that's it's what a cartel is. It's not whether or not you let it. We have criminals that have been operating in the United States for fucking centuries. Yeah, we can't get you fucking Republicans off our backs. Uh, mostly so Democrats. I know. Again. You always have to get your little jab in. Very funny. No, 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 no. Yeah, well, you know, you know why, and Phil? Why, and, Phil? Because we are truly the mob. And you know, to answer your question, why those Guatemalans would want to come here because Donald Trump is running it, I don't think cable signal is too good in Guatemala. So yeah. They're probably not getting the news. <laughs> yeah. They, they still think Trump has hotels that can employ them. There you go. <laughs> and he's prob they're probably right. Or casinos. <laughs> they're probably casinos. right. They can work in the casino. You know. Um, Assuming, of course, it doesn't go bankrupt. Yeah. It's such yeah. a sad example. No, well, I mean, there, there are ways of handling things like this, and uh, uh, we, we, just, we just don't. We don't that deal is. with problems very oh. well anymore. We just deal with them with a a uh, a, a blunt instrument rather than a surgical precision. You know. But but that's the difference between Trump and uh, and Obama. 
He was precise in what he was doing. Almost. There was a few times when that was not true. Yeah. But for the most money. part, the Republicans think the whole thing is give me your money and I'll put hey. the hand down on you. Hey, Obama's the one that got Osama bin Laden. But he doesn't right. get credit for that. Nope. Yeah, I think it was Imagine if Bush singing, had done that, team. boy, he'd have been a hero. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he guys, accomplished guys, the mission. His mission accomplished. Me? Who, Obama? By the no. way, by the way, by the way, I, something hit me today. Uh, uh, and if I ever get within uh, distance of him, I think I might punch Donald Trump right in the face. Now, well, having said that, I'm saying that because his threats and his attitude about people getting violent with other people mm -hmm. seems to be allowed. Like he was right. talking about women. Hold on a second. Let me finish, Phil. Can I just I was going to give it? you a Trumpism. No, can I, I don't want a Trumpism from you right now. Uh, right. Did you hear the speech in which he talked about the candidate, I think it was in Montana, yeah. who had body slammed a reporter, and he was... It's saying how wonderful that was. Well, I think somebody should punch him in the fucking face. That's right. Because he would cry like a little baby, you know, because he hasn't got the guts to do that kind of thing. He acts like he's tough, but he isn't tough. He's a fucking asshole. You hey, if you win the lottery, uh, you could use the money for the attorney's fees. You know, Go ahead and body slam Trump. And, uh, you know, you'll have all the money you need for the attorney's fees. The problem happens to be is Trump Trump has so much BMI. If Alex tried to body slam him, he would just bounce off. I would just, you I would be, I would, so I would literally like Jello be enveloped by <laughs> his body, <laughs> you know. I would just be absorbed into his body and have to fight my way out. Like, like an amoeba. You know? You're like an amoeba. Right, exactly. <laughs> yes, Brian. I was just going to say, and those of you with uh, weaker stomachs may not want to hear this, um, the man is so vain that I've uh, often fantasized about doing this to him. I've often fantasized about doing this to quite a few people. You know, um, your desire to live if your eyelids, nose, tongue, teeth, ears, arms, legs, and hair were removed and you were left hanging on a meat hook and you had, you know, formula with which to cauterize your wounds or whatever, so you're left alive. Yeah, you beat Khashoggi. Yeah. See? Sausage. Yeah, uh, uh, clean up on aisle 12, please. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's what they, needs to be done to someone like Trump. Uh, that's well, what they did to Khashoggi. Ladies and gentlemen, in case I you just joined us, uh, you, the, the man I was just talking is... Well, kind of our version of Norman Bates here on the Citizen Panel. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little unbalanced. Yeah, I mean, if tomorrow somebody said, this guy, Brian Ludwig, you know, he went out and he killed an entire neighborhood. And I, ate them. I would not be the first one to say, gee, and he was so nice on the Citizen Panel. <laughs> At least you know. <laughs> I would no go, bullshit, oh, right? really? It's about fucking time. I, I, I was waiting for that to happen for years. Now, do you have it any pictures? They deserved it, though. You yeah. have any pictures Remember. of De Jeffrey Dahmer? Uh, they deserved it. <laughs> they deserved it. You'd find out that these people were like robbing old ladies' pensions. I mean, I'd be like Dexter Morgan. Exactly okay? the... You'd find out that these people were doing heinous things to begin with, and that you know the punishment would fit the. No, crime. but what I what I love about what I especially love about Trump is just this this braggadocio about you know if I let me, if I had a chance I'd beat him up and let's uh, don't don't you know at, at, oh, that he's done from time to time at rallies and he is such a fucking. I don't like to use the hey. word pussy because we, as guys here on the panel, have loved pussy over the years. But uh, he's, Plus, as he's Betty White so, said they're a little tougher than balls. But pussy, I think the term <laughs> pussy referring right. to someone who is weak in in uh, in, <laughs> in 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 everything uh, what oh, comes yeah. from the word the actually kidding. comes from the word pusillanimous. and that's the derivation of pussy in that particular really? case. Uh, you guys, I'm, get, I'm getting a cup of coffee, so if you want to talk about me behind my back, go right ahead. I'll be back in a minute. So <laughs> Phil's a real fucking asshole, back, isn't he? Well, how big, let's talk about how big <laughs> Phil, an asshole <laughs> Phil is. Yeah. Go ahead, You Phil. can take solace in that, Phil. Uh, oh, from me, you can. Here, here comes Tony. This makes it a royal flush. Yay, Tony's Yay. here. This makes it a royal flush. 
Of course, having Tony on you is like not having it. Bates. What? It's not much already. He heard the name Norman Bates and thought we were calling him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. I don't know if we're going to tell you what happened. What? Mother. What happened? What happened, Tony? She's got diarrhea. Wait a right? minute. Wait a minute. So hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. No, wait a minute. First of all, first of all, Tony, 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 before you go any further, all we heard was she's got diarrhea. Now it's either the dog or your mother. My mother. Oh, your mother. <laughs> yes. Now it's kind of a question. I give her one emoji. She's like, can you give me another one? It's like 9.30. She's like, I give it to her. I was going to give her a fucking tip just to make <laughs> Do you know, this is the only program I've ever done in my life where a guy comes on and the first thing he says, she's got diarrhea. <laughs> so Tony, oh, wait, just, sound effects accompanying it. Yeah. Just make sure she gets a lot of Gatorade or some sort of electric light. <laughs> <laughs> but she only took one at nine. She's like, I want another one at nine thirty. Says, Mom, what are you Tony. Tony, just push her down the steps. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What does your mother want? Like wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me sort this yeah, thing out. Here. There are a lot of people here. So she's sleeping. So, sleep so hey, so I please, really please, really one at a time. We have a lot of people I'm here. Sure. And she's still you're not sorry. listening to me, Tony. Yeah. Everybody, a person at a time, because I got 10 people now, and I'm that sorry. can get to be a headache if we don't all realize that we're one happy family, Phil. Anyway, um, like the Mansons. Where's uh, my million? Yeah, uh, <laughs> Tony. Tony. To begin with, all we're getting is that your mother has diarrhea and she wants something. What is Medicine. it she wants? She wanted. She wanted a coke. Will be quiet. I'm trying to talk here. Yeah. The dog is crying now. It's like crazy. Oh. Will well, you please tell us what your mother wanted? <laughs> she wanted a uh, I wanted. <laughs> Oh, God. I think the dog needs to go outside. That means we got 12. <laughs> Plus the dog? Yeah. They probably made the dog sick to its stomach. Hey, she wanted uh, a modium. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at an NBC News article here, and it says Haley pokes fun at Trump and Elizabeth Warren at Al Smith dinner. Was the That's Al Smith right. dinner tonight? Uh, yeah, yeah, she, yeah she, do poked, it once. she poked fun at Trump. Who? Oh, was it, tele, was it televised? Nikki Haley? Yeah, yeah, Nikki Haley did. What did she say? Oh, mom, Nikki I Haley. just saw the headline. I didn't. I didn't re read the, the article. But I, I well, saw first the of headline. all, first of all, more importantly, has anybody seen whether anybody won the lottery tonight? No, okay. I haven't seen that. You probably won't find that shit out until at least twenty four, forty eight hours. No, 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 no. They know immediately. immediately. They know immediately. They know if the yeah, number they, was pulled. They somewhere. know where it was bought. They yeah, know, they they know, know where it was bought. It's not immediately, yeah. but they know pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. Does it say uh, Walnut Creek? It says pending. <laughs> no, it just, uh, just, I can't believe it. Of all those numbers called, I don't have a single one of those numbers. Well, I won four bucks. What? Oh, hey. Tonight? Hey, congratulations. You're going to have to share it with 12 people now. Yeah, it doesn't yeah, go that gets far. 40 cents or 30 cents. <laughs> no, no, probably wait about The stamp is more than wait that. Wait a minute. You won four bucks? What did you have? One number or something? One number in the mega. Hey, does, okay, so Mark, does Florida have the Powerball there? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Wherever there's old Jews, there's Powerball. <laughs> oh, I should have. That's why we don't have it. Yeah, Powerball's tomorrow night. Uh, okay. And it's worth about a half a, a half a million mark. Do you know? It's, half, it's quite half a, a billion. Half a million. Half a half a billion. Yeah, it, it's insane because you know. Not to be confused with power bottom. <laughs> well, you know something about that now, don't you? Tony. <laughs> She's not calling me. She's out bringing the side. conversation down. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Tony just said she's not calling me. The dog or, or your mother? Both. <laughs> Coke was in my room. Pebbles is sleeping in the crate. Did you listen and push her down the stairs already? No. And not, not the dog. I'm just glad she's sleeping. So, so the, your mother has <laughs> diarrhea. Okay. Your mother has diarrhea. Is did you just let her poop her pants and just let her well, you know, lie it there? Help when you get half, in half a box of Malamas. <laughs> Come on already. <laughs> It's the mountain. We, we got to eat the whole thing within two days. <laughs> I'm 
Come on, give it a rest. I said a little bit. <laughs> she could get diabetes. She keeps doing that. I don't know how she's not diabetic. I'm serious. How old is your mom? Thirty-seven or seventy-seven. I'm losing track now. Phil, really. if he pushes Se- her down the stairs backwards, she might just propel herself back up again with all the shit that comes out. I mean, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> she's just leave me alone. I wanted to watch the dodgy game in Koya, Alex, but you had me go on like a swivel. <laughs> And your father is doing what while this is all going on? Wait, wait, go visit he, he doesn't, doesn't remember. <laughs> no, but what, wait, 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 wait. While all this is going on, what's happening with your father? He He's doesn't remember. He's on the couch. He's been sleeping since nine. My mother's like, he doesn't hear me. He says, I'm tired of getting up. <laughs> He's sick of it. He He's turned got it off. a little bit, so we have to, I give him a break. I'm not Push him down this way. Wow. I'll be right back. Well, I think I think Rob's maybe moving to an area where we can see him. No, I'm just gra- grabbing an apple. Going to wash the apple and have an apple. Oh, okay. Good for you. Uh, I, my, Why don't you core a apple, apple? I got a I got a, a, an alert that I'm supposed to update my operating system to uh, whatever the new one. Twelve. Is. No, no. This is on the oh, on the desktop. on the desktop. Yeah, I got it too. I'm not saying uh, starts with an M or something. I, 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 Mojave, Mojave, whatever. I did that a long time ago. No, l- yeah. oh, listen. I got to tell you, be careful with Mojave. Okay. Yeah, I haven't had a problem. Uh, I had a problem on one machine. Yeah. Then I had a. Then I uh, I managed to power through it somehow, and then I tried another machine the other night. The server that we have, I finally decided that, and I couldn't get it to work, so I I restored it using the backup. Then I decided to try it again, and I did. And then the screen went black and wouldn't go any further. So I had to turn the machine off and on again, and then it continued doing it. And then it went black again and stayed that way for like a half hour. So I had to turn it off again and turned it back on, and finally it started powering through and finishing up the installation. I had trouble on two machines, okay, where it wasn't just so easy that you could walk away and come back and, oh, look, this, uh, the, the desert is up and the sun is coming up because, you know, the background changes. Now that it's working, mm-hmm. what do you think of it? I like it, but it, took, it was hell to get it into a machine. It's just, thank God, on the machines that I did it on, I have backup so that when it, if it went bad. And, but in all cases, I had to go through all kinds of hell to get the thing going. It just mm-hmm. it wasn't. How about you, uh, uh, Rob? You say it was easy Nothing. for you. Nothing. Did both machines? Not a problem. They're older machine. It's an older machine, right? Uh, one is from 2014, and one is from 2016. Oh, okay. Mine was tw- my both my machines were 2014. One was your uh, the uh, what my do you call it? Mac. The the Mac right. Mini. The Mac uh, Mini. The really not Mac Mini, Mac Air, MacBook Air, and this no. MacBook and this MacBook yeah. Pro. Yeah. Well, the ones that Alex did were Mac, he had two Mac Minis and uh, and uh, something else. Well, actually, I have three Mac Minis here, but I'm not going to do uh, no. Marjorie's. Uh, huh. uh, but uh, but it it took it took a lot of work to get those things going because they were suddenly out the, until Marjorie su- pays you? Suddenly they would go black, and then they stayed that way. It wasn't like they were doing anything. You Didn't know? you hear? Once you go black, you never go back. Yeah, well, once you go Mojave, you never go Wahhabi. I don't know. Anyway, yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, Renee, did you upgrade yours? I have not. I'm staring at it. Now I'm listening to you guys going, I might not do that for a little while because I've been having iPhone problems and connectivity issues, so I'm not well, real. What kind of iPhone? What kind of yesterday, mm-hmm. I got uh, like uh, a ton of programs on Adobe uh, that had to get updated. Yeah, the the, yeah. the 365 uh, Office uh, needed updates. Everything was getting updated, and then it said Mojave, and I said, "Man, I, I'm not going there, uh, not yet." You know. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not yet. Uh, uh, the same uh, way. Well, you say your your phone you're having problems with what? Yeah. So I have the new 10, so it isn't that old, but it started to give me sp- speaker problems, meaning that when I use the phone as a phone. Uh, up to my ear, I could. I heard the other person sounds like they were in water. So I, but when I put the headset on or when I use the earbuds, it was perfectly, or speakerphone, it was perfectly fine. Yeah. So I just called up Apple and said, This ain't that old. And I'm not going to sit here because I troubleshooted it for probably about three times, maybe. And then mm-hmm. I said, 
screw that, send me a new one. <laughs> and they did, so I just got it. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is when they send you a new one, I've got this thing for 40 bucks on the front of the screen mm -hmm. that keeps it from cracking. And so how do you get it? Oh, yours, you I, pulled it I off. Peeled my, yeah, I peeled mine off. But now you got all sorts of bubbles. Yeah. I use the electric one. I mean, I use the, 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 the one that's, it's uh, liquid. It, yeah. it comes in a little, it comes in a little swab kind of thing. And you just, you could do multiple phones with it. You just rub it on the glass surfaces and it dries and it does the same kind of protection. Really? So, Rob, why aren't you, so do you keep your phone in a case then? I haven't put my new iPhone XS in a case, no. Okay, so the reason I ask the question is, is if you took that stuff that you just put on the screen, wouldn't it out for protection over the whole phone, and why don't you use it on the whole phone? I do, I use it on front and back, because the, uh, oh, the, okay. the S is all glass. Okay. Why don't you? Thank you. Char Charlene Martinez, by the oh, way, no, just wrote. The They're bulky. It, What's uh, the name of the stuff that you paint on, please? Schmutz. <laughs> I'll have to get back to you on that. I can't think of the name of it right now. Okay, thank <clears> you. I get it on Amazon. By the way, okay. by the way, by thank the way, uh, 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 Char Charlene says, uh, uh, "Is it a full house?" If you look, Charlene, it's not just a full house. This is a royal flush. And no, we can't take anybody else. They will not fit on the screen. So. Okay, yeah. and this is Phil. My ass look like is Tony tired. Is, <laughs> doesn't look like Tony is, uh, you know. Around. Oh well, he's I'll going. Be... He went had to go out and catch his mother's diarrhea. He's taking care of. He's not poop patrol. He's on poop patrol. I had to go get the bucket. For for the dog and his mom. Y yeah, yeah. This is you know, she's younger than I am. Do you realize that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were we well, were out if today. You had Tony, if you had Tony for a son, you would you would be a lot older looking than you are right now. Well, we were at the Nike store <laughs> kneeling, yeah, and uh, <laughs> and, practicing and, Kaepernick. And, 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 we were Kaepernicking. Brother, we were tricky. Kaepernicking, and and um, uh, there was this old couple buying, gray-haired old couple buying Nikes. Uh, oh. And it, you, I know it's cool, but Marjorie, whenever this happens, looks at me and says, Psst. and I go, what? She says, do we look that bad? <laughs> and I always look back at her and go, well, I look better than him, but you don't look better than her. <laughs> and, you know, but that's what we get. Anyway, Renee, uh, yes, I just yes. Put a, I just put a link in the chat for the. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Awesome. The, it's, it's an am, it, it, well, let's see here. What what did you say? I can actually put this up on it's, the air here. Yeah. yeah. See, and that was my whole thing. It's everybody's like, well, you have to get a case for it. But we know that the stuff that they wrap airplane blades in and propellers in and stuff like that, mm -hmm. it actually is very good protection for it. So I'm trying to find. I was looking for that. So thank you, Rob. I okay. I really want to use something different than what I'm currently using. Very good. Uh, I actually uh, on this phone it came came with one. They charged me forty or fifty bucks for it, and uh, uh, about a month ago I noticed that it was cracked. The the little uh, protected thing. Mm -hmm. So oh. and and it and it cracked quite a bit. So but the phone didn't. So when I went to Apple and they put another one on and they had this great machine that does it and there's no bubbles. Uh, uh, you know I said to myself, well you know that would have been the screen if I didn't have that. So I Well, it might not have been the screen. You have to understand that glass, it's called Gorilla Glass for a reason. It's very tough glass, and it's tougher than that plastic that goes over it. Yeah. yeah. See, am I right, the, am the I right Rob? Cut in it. Rob? Why, why do they see it? <clears throat> am I right about that? Are you there, Rob? Can you hear us? I'm here. Oh, I mean, yeah. Uh, Probably Mark. Am I, am I right about that, or well, Mark, or one yeah. of it's case hardened glass. This is something that's been around since the 1950s, and now they're making a big deal out of it. That's what gets me: is that it's corning, and um, I guess maybe they made it better. But yeah, chemical case hardening. That's uh, it's been around for a long time now. So it doubles as a casserole. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's nice that they found another use for it. Uh, hopefully, it's environmentally not as terrible as something else, but. They'll send them to China. Yeah. 
Uh, but it uh, comes with a, it comes with like it's it's a packet like a yeah. It, yeah. it's like a wet nap kind of thing. Yeah. And you open it up and you you put it you make sure that your your phone is pristine clean. You rub this on all the glass surfaces, and then it there's a there's a buffer that once it dries you buff it. And there's another you know another thing that you buff it, and then uh, it once it's dry they say it takes 24 hours to complete. <clears throat> But what do you do if you want to take it off? Uh, you can't take it off. Can't take you it can't off. take it off. So I let's say. Why would you want to take it off? Well, it's... let's say you fuck up putting it on. Mm, boy, it's really hard to fuck up putting it on because it's. Uh, oh. In fact, you could feel it with your fingers when you, when you touch it. Like it leaves like a residue on your fingers a, a little bit. It. You just rub it on, and it. Um, I mean, I've done it like four times now with four different phones, mm -hmm. and I've never. It, it, it's really kind of hard to fuck up. It's yeah. it, you don't like put it on with a like a like a squeegee or anything like that. You just rub it on there, good, and then you buff it out because you will get a couple of like water but like water spots mm -hmm. if you let it dry too long. See, as it's drying, you want to buff it, mm -hmm. uh, and it gets a nice gloss shine. Oh. But Rob, isn't it ergonomically uh, uh, kind of better to have the case on the phone and it's easier to hold? It, and... You're right. It is because the phones are slick, right? It, yeah, so and they're smooth. too thin. It, it, yeah, it's, it's the, the surface is slick. But you know what? I, I just I'm, I don't really feel like I like how how slim the phone is, and I put it in my my pants pocket when I'm I don't know. I just like it better than having that bulk. I don't know. Case. I like case I like it. having what I do here is I, I like having a uh, a good solid thing because yeah. uh, it, it number one if it falls there's a cushion okay yeah. but yeah. secondly uh, uh, it 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 because it, it it's got a grip on it I I can right. grip the you phone get a better, better. Grip for sure. you get a better grip yeah, yeah. than you do with but the, I like putting it in my when I get dressed and I, go to, and I go to work and I put it in my pocket it's nice and slim <laughs> and it's not bulky and I'm carrying two phones right now because damn of, Patrick Sorry, go ahead. No, nothing. Just saying. I, I just, I, I prefer the slimmer, lighter. I like having. What you should do like is get a man bag. Now, if you had a man bag, you could put oh, the phones in the man bag, and uh, <laughs> then you're only carrying one item. But uh, you know, and and you're not sitting on your wallet either, which is you know better. Why for do you. they call it a man bag when it looks so fucking effeminate? You know, I Just I had like one it. back in the seventies, and it was very nice. Some my apartment got broken into. Oh, you look like the kind of guy that would have a man bag. Well, yeah, yeah, you too, definitely do. Dinner. You know, I, and I'm sure you, know, you had that Nehru jacket years ago, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah well, course. I was in sixth grade. But, yeah, I I beat know, I, I, I beat you on it though. What color was your Nehru jacket? I think it was like a, a blue, but it was sort Powder of like an electrically blue. Uh, charged blue. You know, I, I, like I had I had a lime green neighbor jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that was bright. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, uh, Patrick. Now, I have the thick case, and I also have the belt clip, because not only do I have a man bag, which is actually just a fanny pack or whatever the hell they're called because I got to keep my catheters and something. But the clip clips onto that or it clips onto the strap I have on the wheelchair because it's just easier for me. So I agree with Rob that I would prefer if I could keep it thinner, if it could fit in the fanny pack. The problem is with my sunglasses and then my catheters and everything else, I'm afraid that I'm going to end up cracking it. <clears throat> you know, I keep it, you know, strapped on the side then. So I got a strap on phone and, and the bag. So I'm, and? I'm <laughs> fashion forward beyond. Hey, <laughs> when fanny packs were in vogue, I had one that held a 38 caliber pistol. And uh, there was a little string on it, and you pulled it, and then you could get the pistol out. You but, know something? Uh, uh, please uh, put it in your your belt loop and have it go off while you're yeah. dancing at a at a club. Yeah, but it, but that doesn't that doesn't hurt. It doesn't it's bother him anymore since since the prostate operation. Birth. He has no use <laughs> for that thing anyway. 
you know, well, fanny <laughs> packs, you know, nobody's wearing fanny packs pretty much anymore. I mean, no, that's not know. true. No, oh, no, well, no, no, in Hawaii, no, no. you got. I am proud to no, say no, that no, in my no. entire life, I have never had, nor have I had a desire to have a fanny pack. How about you, Vernon? Ever had a fanny pack? Oh yeah. Oh really? Oh yeah. And a pocket protector. Why did you have yeah. a fanny pack? Was there a practical reason behind it, or was it? Well. Most of the time, I carried one if I travel on the airplane because then I can put my wallet and stuff like that in it and just put that in the in the TSA basket and go through the scanner and then boom, I'm done. Oh, I see. Okay, well, it maybe makes some modicum of sense. Actually, I never got a fanny pack because I figured that's what I have pockets for, you know. And I just kept everything in my pockets. Have you heard of that? There's, I know it's a, it's it it's lost on you, Phil. But you can actually take a wallet and put it in a pocket. Yes, well, Patrick. I, I was looking at. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Pa yes, Patrick. Well, I I was gonna say I uh, a number of years ago I went to Great America and mm -hmm. I I was with my ex and her kid mm -hmm. and I had a fanny pack and I had to go through security and the security guard pulled me aside and says, I need to see what's in your, in your pack. And I said, well, let's go in the, you know, in your security room. And I start pulling out one by one the catheters. Mm -hmm. And I'm I, here, hold your hand out. And he said, you know what? We're good. That <laughs> we're good. So, um, you know, it, it kind of the same concept as what Vernon was saying. I keep everything together because it's just easier. So if I ever get stopped anywhere for anything, everything's all together. You know, I got my wallet, I got all of that. And I figure if some idiot wants to mug me and they ask my wallet, I'll grab my catheter first and here, you want these? <laughs> I, I, I've been seeing these pants, these pickpocket proof pants on, on online. And, and they look pretty interesting. And now I'm seeing how vulnerable I really am. I got my wallet in my rear pocket. In the yeah. other rear pocket, I got my iPhone. In my uh, front pocket, I've got my keys. And, uh, you know, and it's uncomfortable. So they got these things called pickpocket-proof pants. And they, they're saying... Would that, you pronounce uh, that again? Pickpocket-proof pants? Proof pants. Say it three times fast. Yeah. And uh, Peter Piper wearing them. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, these pants, uh, they, they say, you know, they can't cut them, uh, you know, because I, I walk down the, the rhombolus and everybody there usually gets pickpocketed. Uh, I was lucky I didn't. But, you know, I put my wallet in my front pocket. But, uh, you know, these, uh, you know, they're saying that in Europe, this is these are the pants to get. Eh, they look pretty interesting. You know? Yeah, really. Have, have you seen those online? No. No. What happened huh. to What happened to Tony? I think he probably slipped on he his mother's. He pushed his mother down the stairs. Could be. Uh, there's something going on there. But I think she pushed him down the stairs. Uh, yeah, did, really. Can we really call this a full house or just a full uh, 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 or a, uh, a a a royal flush or just a full house and Tony? Uh, yes. Yeah, well, it it's absolutely a royal flush. You know? yeah. Royal flush with toilet. I mean, what the hell? Yeah. 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 And, and the thing is, Alex, you were saying. You know, some earlier something about if you were shitting your pan, Tony That's is not just a full house, it's a Tony splatter house. Close enough to you that she could help you out with that as well. I mean what what the hell? Make yeah. use of him. Yeah, he knows how to clean Hopefully that kind of stuff up. I may have a need for him in a few years. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. Uh, in fact, then, and, and knowing the way my life is going, I may need him next month. You know, it's it's uh, it's, uh you know. But anyway. Hey, uh, you know something? I think it's, it's time for the, 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 it, it, it's it, 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 when you're having fun, you know. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, by the way, uh, Renee, nice seeing you again. Lovely picture from there. It's hard to believe you're in Hawaii. Uh, yeah. Kevin, uh, you're uh, you're always a gem. We love having you here. Phil, shut up. Hey. Uh, we're all winners. We're, we're all winners. We're all winners. Thank uh, you. Uh, we all get a gold star for breathing. Right. Yes. Uh, uh, Jeff, good talking to you again. Um, nice uh, having you here. <laughs> Vernon, good having you here. Uh, uh, say goodbye in Morse code. Go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, uh, Pat, uh, uh, Brian, thank you for your wa kind wise words of wisdom. Thank God Tony was here to take up the Norman Bates mantle. Uh, Is she still breathing, Tony? Yeah. 
a big uh, a big thanks to Mark. We always love having Mark here. He's like one of our old troopers. Mark, anytime, please. Uh, and Patrick. And, oh, hey, Rob. Good to have you here. Three days this week, I think, we had you on. Yeah, next uh, week I'm in Orlando for the first half of the week. Oh, okay. So maybe Florida. I'll reach out to you there. Uh, good. From there. And, of course, Tony, thank you. I, I, glad you got back in time to say goodbye. I hope you didn't have to clean up and, your and mother's Tony, diary. Tony, if you won't go near the top of the stairs, use a pillow. That's I'm right. Next to the floor like that. Yeah. Yeah. Wash your hands. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, would you, so they can all uh, say goodnight to you. Yes, there they go. That's the citizen panel, folks. That's the way we do it. And they're all hanging up on me like crazy, so I'll hang up on them before they get around to me. Hey, listen, uh, that's it for tonight. We'll be back again on, uh, uh, on, on Tuesday night. In the meantime, right now, the intersection is next with uh, Jack Bishop. And that is followed very closely by the Connections program at 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. On uh, Tuesday, it's uh, Damien. He's on at uh, 9.30 with the exchange. I will be back again at 10 o'clock. Tuesday night, same time, same station in life, and in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Have a nice weekend.